Fakata huna ngaru ta huri mai ano ra ki tota to marae wananga. E tau toko ana inga mihi ki a kato, no mai ra te na kato katoa. Now music is seen as an international language, and we've got our fair share of accomplished exponents. Our reporter Te Himararo he he met a man who spent the past forty years practicing and passing on the art of taonga puoro, the very special Richard Nuns. It's a very privileged thing that I get an opportunity to do, and it's just something very gently gratifying to work amongst the old, who can hear those sounds and recognise those sounds, and and the, and the affirmation of that is that you're on the right track. Koia te tino tohunga, engari kua ta tu mai te tahi manga, kei Richard Nuns. Timothy Parkinson's. Devastating that uh, you can't do what you assumed and expected to be able to do at the age you are. Is it hard for you? Oh, some some parts of the day are, some aren't. I'm probably due to take some pills now and taking pills, a handful of pills, is four times a day. Uh, it doesn't make you better, it makes you sick. You get nauseous. But uh, if I don't take those, I'll be really sick. Baduki. I tau te mate ki ai ai te tau rua mano ma rima. I nā nei kai te kakari ia i ngā mate huki huki me te ruha. Kāore he mea whakakore. Stamina and energy and that kind of stuff is a problem sometimes. But in terms of being able to draw a note out of, out of an instrument like this is, is just not a problem. A lot remains to be learned about the use of uh, tour as, as a long while. There will also be those who are sceptical, but I, I think in time more will be known. I mahi a nanti te taha o Hirini Melbourne me te kaitārai a Brian Flintoff ki a pāoro anō ngā pūoro i mū mō te tahirau tau. Gang of three, Hirini, myself and Brian, each had our separate roles. Brian, of course, is an expert maker. All my experiences on trumpet, on brass and on woodwind, that in essence was what, what I brought to it. Hirini was complete musician through and through. It would be wrong to say he was a great player of the Taonga Pōro. He wasn't. He was a guitar player, a very beautiful guitar player. He also, of course, was hugely knowledgeable about the bush, traditional law, and a, and a beautiful composer. I hangaia nō e rātou ngā Taonga nei, i ako ki te whakamahi, a i purea te hā ora ki te ao Pōro. something really, really significant. You've been part of something that has brought back uh, a set of traditions that to all intents and purposes have gone. So there's usually a fundamental and, and a couple of uh, harmonics, which is about as much as you can get out unless you've got real super chops and you play in a brass band. I nāianei, me mātua tuku iho ngā mātauranga nei. The other way of making it function is, is in fact to add a vocal component. Kei te kaha tonu, a ko i nau pā pā te te māwiwi tanga ki aia, te te wiri wiri o te te ra māwiwi. Engari kei te he he nā kau nui tonu ia. Richard Nuns, he pawako, he ringa mahora, aha kuanga rangi kei mua, 
kutona waidua e kore e memeha i play to the people i can make the people cry i can make them happy what will you do when you can't play anymore Oh, yeah, that's a pretty devastating thought. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure how I approach that, and obviously the obvious answer to that is on, you, you create, a, create the challenge when it arises. And by and large, I'm, I'm cruising in, in a, and, and I have a great time with young people, and uh, they, keep me, they keep me young and uh, they make me laugh because they're so dumb. And... Uh, no, it's great. What more could you want? Well, no, Reti, we can't go near the hemara row. He he, now Tera Purongo, Epana Kia Richard Nanzi Mahi. Ipe here Tera, I don't know who kita mo hio kaita hua ma wewe a korogo e te neva. Oh. Kia pono aku kōra i pōhe heau ka kino ke atu i tērā. Um, me te aha hoki, ko te take i tino māwiwi tana ahua i tērā uh, pūrongo nā te mea katahe noa ka mutu i aia te, te uh, whakaako i te tahi krā he, he, he rā katoa. Auno haora Pietro o tāna whakaako. Uh, he krau a ia, mm. e harei te mea he, he taiohi tana, tana uh, tinana. Mm. Uh, nā reira, koe rā te tahi o ngā take ahua, ahua māwiwi tana ahua. Uh, Iri a hako tēnā, kai te whakahaere tonu ia i ana wānanga, kai te haere tonu ia ki te whakatairangi i ngā taonga puoro ki te ao nera? Ai, o koe rā te mea miharo e kare kau he, kare te rā mate i te paku whaka... Uh, whaka かららるだろうかいたいたいらねいやねかおれらをえかいてうちにいてたうどまのつかまとるいついやきあんきてたひこのへてやひてれりゃいふかふつやつきまいてたひたおにきてたひたおにほぎまいきあからなほきやつきて
I think we're all quite um, we're all quite pretty in our own ways here. Definitely slick, definitely dapper, definitely dressed. It's the contrast that we're just who we are as people. Why a Māori show band? You can't really have a show band without a Māori one, can you? I think they just kind of go together, don't they? You don't really just hear of a show band or a Pākehā show band. The modern Māori quartet's new show, Ngā Brauwe Whā, is a play on words of the term Ngā Hauwe Whā. It is a show that weaves together lots of stories of our history as Māori. I haven't felt nervous for a long time, like uh, doing other shows like plays and that, but it's a different um, vibe, it's a different feel. Don't you remember you told me you loved me, baby? There's all those show bands, I mean, and we'll keep repeating them for probably for the rest of our careers. It's such a big part of our Papa, as people and as entertainers as a whole, that it's important that we do it well. That's what I love, is that we all kind of have this um, whanangatanga going on. These guys are my bros, they're my brothers. We hang out together, we mahi together, we kai together, we fight. <laughs> but um, we're all driving towards the same thing of an excellence of, of sorts. So what message are they trying to give their audience? To me, say uh, like a modern Māori is somebody who has, you know, uh, an awareness or, or is um, comfortable in their skin as a Māori and is uh, and being proud of their whakapapa and their history. That, that to me is a modern Māori. So we love those guys, Kane. Fantastic, the modern Māori quartet. But you knew them before they became the quartet. Yeah, yeah. It was really funny that I got assigned the story because uh, I, I'd known them for a few years before they became the modern Māori quartet. And, you know, going to parties or being at different events and uh, I'd hang out with them and they'd jam and I'd try and join in. <laughs> <laughs> but I wasn't really suited to be, you know, amongst, well, the modern Māori quartet. So it was really special. So, so how would you try and join in? Oh, well, well, you know, I'll try and harmonise to some of their waiata. And what would they do? What was their reaction? Oh, you know, just sort of look sideways because it was a bit <laughs> flat or <laughs> not quite in tune with them. So they were diplomatic with you. That's mm. very nice. Hey, one of them's going to be in the cast of The Lion King. Yes, so Matu Ngaropo, who is uh, the, the sort of leader in the pack. And um, he was cast in The Lion King in Sydney and he's over there currently. He's there on a two-year contract and so they've replaced him with uh, Fran Korda. Francis Corder from Corder, the crew, uh, the, the brothers, um, the band there. And uh, the boys, the modern Māori quartet, tell me that they're so happy that he's with them because, you know, he's, he's an actor, but he, first of all, he's a musician. Right. And so he sort of brings that confidence and that mana to the group. Oh, that's so exciting. So a good excuse for you to go to Sydney. Um, look, if we want to see them, if we want to see the modern Māori quartet, how do we do that? Yeah, so if any whānau want to get in touch with the modern Māori quartet and have them come out to their marae and... Or to their wedding. Or to their wedding and give <laughs> their show, uh, they can get in contact with them via Facebook. So all you do is just look them up, the modern Māori quartet. Oh, OK. And just drop them a line and they'll get in touch and yeah. do mates rates? Yes. <laughs> you have just committed them to do yeah, mates rates. <laughs> they might not thank you for that. <laughs> OK, don't take that as a fact. All right, no, that's very good. Thank you so much for that, Kane Peters, who got to meet the modern Māori quartet. Ko tētahi atu koro koro tu i i ui ui te ai e Kane he uri mā te atea no te tai tokerau. I toa i ia i te whakatai tai tuhi waiata mō ngā kura o te motu. Arā te whakatai tai hook, line and sing along. In the morning, can you hear the two we call? Can you hear the two we call? Can you? Ngā puhi songstress wai Maria Smith composed this winning song. I'm from up north in Kirikiri. My mum is from Titi and my dad's from Matangiro. I'm 15. <laughs> I go to boarding school at St Peter's, Cambridge. Waimaria entered her song called Paradise into the National School's songwriting competition Hook, Line and Sing Along. But she never imagined it would win, becoming the student song for New Zealand Music Month. I found out about the competition through my teacher, 
he just pretty much said that I should <laughs> enter it. I thought it'd be something that some of my kids would be into, into entering, so I introduced it to them in class and said maybe it might be something that you would think about entering. Um, and yeah, why well, I decided to do it, and here she is now. The competition asked budding songwriters to write about New Zealand. They received 50 entries that were put before a judging panel of musicians, including members of the New Zealand boy pop band Titanium. What, what does it feel like, you winning hook, line and sing along? Um, it feels really good. <laughs> the experience has been real different. <laughs> yeah, it's not what I expected it to be. Despite her natural shyness, Waimaria travelled to Stebbing Studios in Auckland to record her song with Tonga Pūro musician Horomona Horo and Three Houses Down band member Tonga Baia. Nah, this is not a, it's not going to happen like that. First heard the song would have been Good Friday and uh, it was, she's got an amazing voice so the tone of her voice actually caught me and the rest of it was just just came easy, you know, and when I read that email and it said she's a shy year 11 girl, I was like, man, with a voice like that, I'll be, if I was year 11, I'll be singing everywhere at school, but yeah, it's a beautiful song. This is where the tiny was born. She always sung along, she enjoyed kapahaka, she enjoyed listening to her elders singing, you know, in particular on marae functions or and, and she's happy when she sings. It brings her true wairua out. The wairua she carries definitely comes with her name, Waimari meaning calm waters. When do you think you first got into music? When I first started St Peter's. And yeah, I just took music and then liked it. Did you think it would take you this far? No, I thought it was just temporary. Are you scared, the thought of heaps of people hearing your song? Yeah, kind of. It's always awesome to come and, and see the, the next generation, you know. Why is awesome too. She's she's really shy, but um, as you can hear, the voice is, speaks for itself. So it's awesome to see what the what New Zealand holds, what talent New Zealand holds. It's the fourth year of the competition, and three out of four of the winners have been Māori students. So what is it that makes Māori such good singers and composers? I think the Music Commission has been actively um, inviting um, for other languages, particular te reo Māori. Um, we're really keen to hear that on the airwaves and on our lips, um, so um, that maybe has something to do with it too, but I, I think we just have such talent coming out of kapahaka groups, out of churches, all sorts of, and out of schools in this country, that this is a really good way of, of bringing those students in. Waimaria's winning song will be sung by students from locations across the country on May 31st. I speak for all my elders and my tūpuna that have passed on, that she makes us very proud of who we are and a generation that will carry force. What does it feel like when you sing? I feel happy. <laughs> Yeah, I can see myself doing this in the future. <laughs> Hoi nora, kai te whaikaha tonu ngā kai waiata reo Māori ki te wero i te rāngai tū mata whānui o te ao waiata i uiui a ngā huia wairi e tahi o ngā kai waiata e kōrero tia nei i te whakarewatanga o wā rāua kōpai. Me te aha, i reira te katoa o te whānau e tau toko ana. Te pō nei te tahi o ngā hua, he aha nei te hua. Whānau mai ai ngā tamariki ki runga i te ia o ngā waiata o rātau pākeke. He karakia, he tauparapara, he mōteatea, he pātere, he waiata tau. He a tāhua ke atu nō tō tāhua o nō te ao Māori.
Mā te tuakana te kaupapa e wahi, mā te tuarua te kaupapa e whakawhanui, mā te pōtiki e whakakapi. Koe nā te hono tātai. Ai, i wehe a witaku mahi i te rātau. Ko a kiko nei, ai, i rei rau, he wai anō, ko taku wairua i wahi ke ara ko te awaiata. Nā reira, i taka te kapa ki roto i au anō, ko mēnā ko taku whainga nui ko te awaiata, tēnā whaia. Ki runga i au a kōrero, ko i taku mahi i tēnei rā, i tēnei pō. Ko taku kiriata, ko tana ingoa ko Aorangirua. Ki oku whakaaro kei tōna, kei te ingoa anō te whakamārama, Aorangirua. Kei runga te kōrero, kei raro te mūrere. Ko te tehi waku i tō nui, ko te puta ki roto i te ao Pākeha. Engari, e hara i te mea mēnei wai tāna i roto i te reo Pākeha. Kei raro nei, te reo Māori e rere ana kao, e rere ngā tahi ana ngā kaupapa e rua nei. Ki oku whakaaro. Me pēnei pā te kōrero. E te mōhio katoa tātou ko ai a Beyoncé. Ko Beyoncé, me takahuri pia roto i te reo Pākeha kia mārama ake, he Worldwide First Class African American. Ko tākua hia hia nei, kia Worldwide First Class Māori au. Ai! Ko to mātou whānau e piri tāne e... E noho piripini nei mātou i ngā wā katoa, e kore rawa mātou, e wehewehe, e whera whera rā nei. Me whāngai ki a pai te puku, me whāngai ki a pai te whakāro, me whāngai ki a pai te wairua, me whāngai ki a tiaho mai te mauri. Pēhea whāngai, pēhea ai. Ko ngā mahi o i arā, ko tā te māma, ko tā te pāpa, ko tā te tamaiti. E whakapono ana au, toko maha o mātou i tatu tatu a, i pākia, hoi anō, koe rā te āhua, koe rā ngā ahua tango o te haututu ne, i te mea katoa mātou e haututu. Hoi anō, he maharau atu ngā koranga i tiritiria e oku mātua ki roto i a mātou, kia whanake ai mātou i roto i tēnei ao tū whitiwhiti. E kore nei e kwa ngā tri, prari, tamariki nei, ia he kona he, he āhua tanga ka pupu mai, hoi anō. Mai ina mea kare kareka. A hea ka mutu ka ea, e kore e pea ea. Haere tunu ana, pakeke tunu ana, haere tunu ana wā māua nei mahi ki te tia ki nā tamariki. Ko māua hei tua la hawe kōra tā. Te aroha. He reira raua i a rā, i a pō e a whina ana, o tira e a ki a ki ana, e pana ana. Engari, ko te aroha e a rahi ana. O hea tā rau akoranga nui mō kia koe. Be a nice person. You can have all the flash corridors, all the flash stuff. If you're a good person, he pai koe. Because there's two types of people, a good one and a bad one. Koe nā tā rau, te ake nā te tangata, manā ki te tangata, e mō ku ake nei, he nui aku taina, he nui ngā pōtiki o tomato whānau, Ko te mahi o oku mātua he pupuri i au, ko taku mahi he pupuri katoa i oku taina. Kia pai ai mātou, kia kore te tahi e hi oi oi. Ko te ingoa taku waiata i te pō nei ko tongariro tōna ingoa. mai e hoki atu anō ki ngā mō te ata e pupuri ana i te ingoa o Tongariro, i te kupu nei Tongariro, ka te kāta wete wete kia e a hau, ka whiriwhiri, ka whiriwhiri, a ngā wai ka puta he wai ata.
mehe mea kua. Kai roto i āko e te aroha, ka māmā noa i ho. Me, me pēhea he kōrero kai tuatū o tērā. Mehe mea kai roto i tō puku. Te aroha ki wō tīpuna, ki te rāpito, ki wāu uri, kai te au māra mai hāre ana. A tēnā whakkoe rā te mea whakakotahi tiana, mārunga i te aroha. Aroha ki a rātau, aroha ki a rātau, tēnā koutou tukua ki a rātau. Tōka iho! Iho! And Ngā Huia Wei joins me on the couch now. Ngā Huia, what's Ahorangi winning out up to at the moment? Well, Ahorangi has actually just been um, asked by a producer in Texas, America, who's won a contract with Sony over there uh, to send seven of her songs. So she's really, really excited about that. Uh, she's also branching out into Reo Māori and English songs because, as we know, you don't really make much money mm. off uh, Māori music unless you're Maisie Rika or Hinewihi Mohi. <laughs> yeah. And what about the Winitana boys? How, how are they doing? Well, the one, I, the one who is still working in music is Hedia Winitana. Now, he sang uh, the song in there called Tongariro, my personal favourite uh, and it's also about our majestic maunga and um, what's interesting about that song for me is that he actually went uh, back through all the waiata kraua and any uh, song or waiata that had reference to tongariro maunga pulled them out and came uh, pulled those lyrics out mm. and came up with reworked them and came up with his own beautiful version uh, now he is expected also to um, have a new album out within the new year Awesome, quite an outstanding whānau, this Winitana whānau, aren't they? They're pretty, pretty amazing. Thank you very much for that update. Tēnā koe. Well, thanks for joining us. We leave you with a waiata from Ahorangi's album called Pounamu, yeah. featuring rapper Sydney Diamond. Mā rāua tā tātou hōtaka e whakatepe ake, kei aku rangatira puta noa i te motu ngā tau whirotanga o te wā. Hey, Papa.